Hey boo buddies, Anya here and welcome back to the next part of my story bible how I do video series and today we're doing it, we're finally doing it, we're doing the meat of the what makes the story bible the story bible and that would be the drafting log pages so the drafting log is where i keep track of three major things throughout the drafting process the first being the goals or tasks uh, the achievables uh, the achievements of that writing day whether that's a word count or a plot point we're trying to get to or a scene we're trying to get through or just whatever milestone and how I'm doing that it's not like a, a set these are the rules of what can be a goal but uh, you know just any of those things that you're that you're aiming for during the writing process I like to give myself some space for those goals but I like to limit the space because I found that especially with draft earlier drafts uh, it gets a bit more um, more as the drafts get further in but on the, especially the early drafts the goals tend to be very big broad strokes and so I, I found that like three to four goals it, for a writing day is plenty the next thing that I do on a similar uh, related note is the word count trackers so I like to have my starting word count for the day where where the draft is starting uh, then uh, the word count that I write that day so how many words were written that day and then uh, the total of those of the complete draft of all the words I've written in that draft so far um, so you have your start word count your finished word count and the number of words that I did that day so uh, the next thing that I like to do in my uh, log day planner is I do a mood tracker where I actually have started tracking my mood uh, in in for the day of how I felt about writing that day on a scale from 1 to 10 and so I have a little scale where I will mark my number but I also like to draw a little a little face to to kind of um, illustrate if you will how I'm feeling about writing that day because it turns out that your word count and where you are in the story and your mood start to, you can track these things and you can really start to get an idea of, of how you can improve and, and how you can, um, I don't know, uh, deal with frustrations. Uh, the last thing that I put in my, my log pages is my uh, notes, my questions and my revisions section. So this is just the bottom half of my page where I'll just, at the end of writing or as I'm writing and drafting, I will write down anything that comes up that I want to change for the next draft, things that I don't like in this draft. And that's really to stop myself from like getting hung up on editing in the moment instead of staying in the forward motion of drafting. Uh, so that you just make the notes here and then when you come back for revisions those notes are already in your Bible and they're already here and you just go through your log as you do as you start your revision process and that gets both the drafting moving forward fast and it also means that when you come back for revisions that process is already started because you started making those notes during your drafting process uh, and yes uh, I do a page of this every day I write every day and I'm only showing you one but yeah I'm, I'm making a bunch of these for for every day I intend to write so um, there's probably gonna be at least 30 to start with and I will probably make another batch for each draft but we'll come back to that as as we need Okay, so before we are finished and ready to actually start the drafting process, we will also need a fun little sprint tracker where, because you know, sometimes you write more than once every day. You don't just sit down and do one writing, especially if you're fast drafting, especially if you're doing a nano um, or a camp nano uh, fun time and writing with friends. I hope you're all writing with friends. Uh, and you need your sprint tracker. So. I am going to make a quick little chart 
I have seen a couple different versions of Sprint trackers over the years and they're all fine. Everyone does them their own way. I have six columns in mine and I do that because I have one for the date where, you know, sometimes you do more than one sprint in one day and sometimes you don't, but I like to keep track so that if I lose track of my words and I need to go back and figure out how many words I did that day, everything's dated. Then I like to, again, I like to have the uh, start time, the end time. I find this is easier to write into a, into a log than trying to say how many minutes it was and, and or how long the sprint was and just do the, I started at this time, I called it at this time, that's way easier. Uh, then I have the start word count, the end word, word count, and then the total word count again. So whatever the total is, uh, at the end and I just find it's easier to just write all those numbers in and then do the math when I'm not trying to log everything and then copy data over where I need it into into the uh, into the writing log or into my calendar where I'm tracking those things um, but yeah it's just easier to to write all the data out and do the math after all everything's documented all right, we are ready to start our draft on with our story Bible, and I hope you guys all found some inspiration in your own projects, or at least looking into the way my brain works, and I will see you in the next one, Boo Buddies.